May peace of the strength and depth that sustained Jesus in his last week be with you today and keep you well in body and spirit. In Matthew 22, verses 8 through 10, Jesus tells a parable about a master who sends out lots of invitations to a big fancy wedding, but no one comes. I have some thoughts on that story in which toward the end, the master said to his slaves, the wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad, so the wedding hall was filled with guests. This is the word of the Lord, and here are my thoughts. The quick and easy reaction to this story is to condemn the guests who decline the invitation. We could judge them as foolish or stupid or unworthy or too self-centered to know what's really good for them. And we'd be right. They should have known better. They should have gone to the wedding. It's harder to admit that we could all too easily find ourselves among those foolish, stupid, unworthy, self-centered people. God's invitation to a feast of love and mercy and grace is offered to us every minute of every day. But most minutes of most days, in fact, the vast majority of minutes, we're not interested in the invitation. We're too busy. We have other, better things to do. We don't even hear it offered because we're not really paying attention. We may not intend to decline God's generous offer, but that's what we end up doing by not consciously taking action to accept it. The hardest aspect of this parable may be the realization that you and I are not essential to it. We can be left out as irrelevant to God's feast as the people who didn't come to the master's wedding banquet. Not only are we non-essential, however important we are in our own eyes, it turns out that we can be replaced easily. Adding insult to that injury to our self-esteem, it doesn't matter who replaces us. It can be anyone. Not just people as good as we think we are, but ones we would judge as bad. The only requirement, it turns out, is a willingness to come to the feast. The master wants the tables filled. So does God. So what are you doing right this minute? James Russell Miller writes, there's a great waste of power in our failure to appreciate our opportunities. Every hour's talk we have with a friend leaves fragments that we ought to gather up and keep to feed our heart's hunger or the hunger of others' hearts. If only we could gather up and keep all the good things that come to us through conversations and through reading, I'll add through prayer and scripture, <laughs> we would soon have great treasures of knowledge and wisdom. From the Book of Comfort. I'll leave you with a blessing. May you have the wisdom to accept the Master's gracious invitation and treasure every fragment of blessing that comes with it. And may God welcome you to the table with open arms and bless you for coming. Amen.